Hey, this is Aliyah and welcome back to Cooking with Aliyah, the show that brings you the flavors of Morocco. It's our first video for 2012, so I'm going to show you how to make a super special dish called couscous tfeya. Tfeya means caramelized onions, so this dish is basically couscous topped with poultry or meat and covered with caramelized onions. I'm going to show you how to make it using a Moroccan couscous pot, but don't worry if you don't have one. Just follow the instructions on your couscous pack and use normal pots for the meat and the caramelized onions. If you like my recipes and don't want to miss any of them, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also check out my Facebook page and my website cookingwithalia.com. I hope you enjoy this dish. Well, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it because it's just amazing. So let's start! We're going to start by making the tfeya, which is the caramelized onions, since the onions take a bit of time to cook. First, soak the raisins in hot water. We'll use them later. Now we're going to prepare two pounds of onions. When you peel the onions, make sure to soak them in a bowl of water. This is a very important step because cutting so many onions will definitely make you cry. Soaking the onions in water is a trick to help with that. Cut the onions in half and thinly slice them. To be efficient, just place the onion slices directly into your cooking pot. Add 2 tablespoons of butter, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of ginger powder, 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper and half a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. Pour a quarter of a cup of water. Mix all the ingredients. Cover your cooking pot and cook the onions on medium-low heat for 45 minutes. Don't forget to stir from time to time. Now that we are done preparing the tfeya, let's start cooking the chicken and steaming the couscous. This is a couscous pot. It has two parts. The bottom part is used to cook the meat and vegetables, and the upper part is used to steam the couscous. The cool thing about it is that since the steam comes from the meat and vegetables underneath, your couscous will get a really nice flavor. If you do not have a couscous pot, cook the couscous by following the directions in your couscous pack and use a normal pot to cook the chicken as I'm going to show you. First, we're going to place the meat ingredients in the bottom part of the couscous pot. Since I'm making a small quantity of couscous, I'm only using a Cornish hen of approximately 1.5 pounds. Feel free to use chicken instead. Drizzle 2 tablespoons of olive oil, add 1 finely chopped onion, a little bouquet of fresh parsley and cilantro, a cinnamon stick and spices. Here we have half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of ginger powder, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and a large pinch of saffron. If you are using dry chickpeas, this is the time to add them. Since I'm using canned chickpeas, which are pre-cooked, I will add them later. Mix all the ingredients and on medium heat, sear the Cornish hen for 5 minutes. Now let's prepare the couscous. Place 10 ounces, which is 280 grams of couscous in a large bowl. Add half a teaspoon of salt and 2 teaspoons of vegetable oil to the couscous. Mix well with your hands. Now add half a cup of water and continue mixing. Let the couscous rest for a few minutes, then add it to the upper section of the couscous pot. Get back to your Cornish hen. Add 1 cup of water and turn the Cornish hen around so that the breast portion is at the bottom. This is the part that needs more cooking. Place the upper section of the couscous pot on top of the bottom pot, cover with a lid and let the meat and couscous cook on medium heat until you see the steam come in from the couscous. It will take around 15 minutes. In the meantime, let's get back to our tfeya. If the onions have been cooking for 45 minutes, then they are ready for the next step. Add the raisins that you have drained from the water, 2 tablespoons of sugar and 1 tablespoon of orange blossom water. Mix well, half cover the pot and continue cooking the onions on medium-low heat until they are completely caramelized, which takes around 20 minutes. Make sure to stir from time to time. The onions and raisins will eventually get a rich brown color and will be soaking in a thick syrup. They will basically look like this. Oh yum! Make sure you don't eat them before serving the couscous. Check it out! The first steam is coming out from the couscous. Remove the couscous from the couscous pot and place it in a large bowl. Add half a cup of water, mix well and let the couscous sit for 5 minutes. Also, don't forget to check on the Cornish hen. 
turn it to the other side and make sure that there is enough water. If you have added one cup of water in the beginning, you should be fine. Return the couscous to the top section of the pot, cover and steam again until you see the steam coming out from the couscous. It will take another 10 minutes. This is the second steaming. Hey, we got steam for the second time! Place the couscous in a bowl and taste it. If the couscous is not cooked yet, add a quarter of a cup of water and let it steam a bit longer. Otherwise, if your couscous is done like mine, add one teaspoon of smin, which is clarified butter or ghee, and fluff the couscous with a fork. If you don't have smin, you can fluff the couscous with just butter. If you are using canned chickpeas, it is time to add them to the Cornish hen and let them cook for 5 minutes in the sauce. Now you are so ready to serve this couscous. Place the couscous grains first, plant the hen in the middle, pour some of the sauce and chickpeas over the couscous, but not too much, as you're going to serve the sauce separately so that people can add the sauce in their own plate to their taste, so just a bit of sauce. Cover the hen with the tfaya, decorate with boiled eggs and almonds. In Morocco we use almonds fried in oil, but to go a bit healthier I'm using toasted almonds. Guard your dish while walking from the kitchen to the dining room, because I'm sure your family and friends are going to rate it before it reaches the table. Bon appétit!